you welcome to my space how are you doing how is your mental health how have you been so um today we're going to be looking at you know more ways we could go about developing ourselves we've been talking about different topics recently on how to get better um, physically mentally socially and otherwise oh, yeah also financially so today we are going to be just discussing random points of things that you can add to what you're doing you know actions you can take to make you get better to help you develop in anything you're doing so you could apply this in career you could apply it in business you could apply it in whatsoever even in your journey in motherhood everything you're doing you could just apply it so let's get right into the topic so before we continue i just want to welcome the new subscribers to the family if this is your first time of seeing my face my name is precious and you're welcome to my space on this space we talk about personal development growth um career business finance every way we could add value to our lives i'm definitely sure this is what you want to you know be part of so click the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when we have something new cooking and to my returning subscribers you are welcome back you guys are the real mvps thank you for sticking with me so let's get right into what we're discussing for today so we're going to just be talking about random ways we could add an extra to what we are already doing how can we get um a new side added to whatever we are doing let's say you're someone into business how do i even get ideas to expand how do i even get ideas you know to make it look better and brighter so um there are things that are really everywhere but most times you we don't take these things seriously for example reading reading books can actually help you gain more knowledge in whatsoever sector in whatsoever area for example um if you're talking about business there are one million books on businesses out they just need to streamline your search into what exactly you're looking for at the moment get some books uh, around those corners read them the truth is that most people has gone through what you're going through most people have gone through some endeavors they've made mistakes they've learned from it and they've taken their time to put this information into a book and put it out there so that it will benefit you if you have the culture of reading books i'm telling you you are going to really avoid a lot of mistakes especially financially in business you're going to learn there are a lot of things that we are never going to learn in the classroom you can learn you could spend seven years study the course five years four years three years but just taking hours to read a book can change your whole life yes i am a very big evidence to this so if you're someone that's interested in personal development, if you're interested in standing out in whatever you're doing, if you're interested in being the best, you are definitely going to have to be a reader. There are books on everything. There are books on career. There are books on finance. There are books on businesses. There are books on healthcare. There are books on every information you are looking for out there and bless the internet. Nowadays, you don't even have to have a hard copy. So, um, you know carrying books around is no longer your excuse you could just go online download the copy read it while you're walking on the road while you're traveling while you're going somewhere anything you're doing you are just improving so yourself see a lot of us want to you know become the best become the pro but we don't want to hear from the best we don't want to read other people's explanation there is no way you're going to go from a point a to a point b without knowing how to so if you're really looking out to develop yourself if you're looking out to becoming better in whatever your hand finds to do get some books in that area and begin to read them yes begin to read them they might not sound interesting at the beginning but keep reading before you know it you begin to understand their languages you begin to dive right into what they are saying yeah so that is a first tip that can help us be better at whatever we are doing so secondly i'm going to be talking about traveling i know you were not expecting that yeah sounds a little bit weird but let's be sincere to ourselves there's even um an adage that says that a traveler is wiser than an elderly person and um i may not have understood this before but right now i can say yes traveling traveling doesn't necessarily need to be 
it's a journey that will take you 15 hours 30 hours two days no just leaving your city to another place is enough just leaving your environment to another place to just see how other people are doing stuff if you're a business person going from where you are to another market to see how things are done there to see how people run their own businesses there is enough traveling it doesn't need to be a long episode of travel you know touring is different from traveling so traveling is another way we could get ideas to develop ourselves yes so you just don't expect to just sit in the corner just stay there today we are in green tomorrow red next tomorrow yellow and you don't even know what is happening in the world around you stand up and go out and see for yourself what other people in the sector are doing just go for a little trip it doesn't have to cost you so much you gain knowledge by you know experiencing new things you gain knowledge by seeing what other people are doing out there yes so traveling is another way that we can get ideas to develop ourselves if you don't know where to go i mean start from the library yeah that was the only thing i could come up with okay so let's go to the next point i'm going to make in today's video the next way we could actually you know impact ourselves is making use of the internet yes research most of us are always on the internet for 20 hours out of the 24 hours in a day but we are not using the internet to our own benefit there is a lot of free information out there ah ask google anything ask google anything you want to ask go to websites read up information try to get before we needed to get you know wait for newspapers wait for magazines magazines wait for a lot of things before we can even see what is happening but right now you are just a click away to any information you need don't just pop into um different handles just you know having fun yes there's time for that but also get into the habit of using your social media to your advantage get information see what others are putting out there get ideas you don't necessarily need to copy and paste yes there is a place for copying and pasting because there is nothing new under the sun but it did first so you could go copy see this what this person is doing okay how do i put my own sauce how do i add my own ingredients the difference between um fried um chinchin and baked chinchin is just the method of preparation they are all the same ingredients that, oh, if someone just oh, decided one day okay everybody's trying their chinchin let me just bake mine you know this is how you get your ideas you could just be strolling along the streets of the internet devouring information and oh you just decide okay today that you're not going to you know fire on changing but you just want to bake it and it becomes a brand and it, it becomes something that one of the largest um changing brands in my country is baked many people don't even know that this company bakes their changing but everybody wants to eat it everybody likes it well, someone just decided to do something so the last but not the least i'm going to be talking about this is the main thing like you could get knowledge you could read books you could travel and see how people are doing their stuff if you do not apply this knowledge you have gotten we are still going to be on the same page we are still going to be where we've been so what am i saying try out new things try something you experiment put into work what you've learned don't just sit in a place and say okay today i've been able to do this i've been able to do okay out of what you've read out of what you've seen what have you done all the books you've been reading all the channels you've been streaming everything you've been hearing the ha what have you applied don't always drag your feet don't feel you will fail yes if you fail you you learn from there you try again one thing that we don't know is that you don't need to experiment in big scales like if you're trying to come up with a new ingredients you could just start with something small for yourself in your own place if you try it if it turns out nice you expand on it if you are trying to you know add a, some a sector to your business try something small if the response works out where so you expand on it but do something you know you know toggle a bit when you've already gotten the information put it out there put it in the face of people if they like it and they respond when you grow on it you expand on it if the response is not adequate you go back to the drawing board and see how you could fix it don't just get information 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 without using it is actually useless actually wisdom is the correct and right application of knowledge having knowledge without applying it makes you no different from someone that is ignorant so 
technically the main point is the points where you have to put to work what is gathered so yeah let's take a rundown again of what we talked about today so we talked about reading yeah get information read as much as you can you don't need to spend 30 hours of your day reading you could just read at intervals whenever you find the time but make sure you're reading yes leave your um, comfort zone go to another place and see how people are doing it leave your place travel to somewhere else see how people are doing it go well on the internet don't just look for comedy and you know laugh and just watch movies look for information on how to make whatever you're doing better last but not the least put that information you've gotten to work yes so if you just do the simple things you could go from zero to a lot in the space of a little time you just add a little bit of consistency to these methods and repeat them just keep doing them until you get better and better and better that is how we grow together so